Can we use GTM or Google Tag Manager to do last minute tracking changes and have data sent to the project we are currently using, which uses the HTTP API? The answer is yes. I'll quickly give you a show how it works. I have a GTM container. So if I would go to tags, this dummy container, and I would say I want a new tag, I click into tag configuration, discover more tags, and I, I type amplitude. I already added it. Click choose a template. Well, this is basically the amplitude tag, right? Um, the thing you need to be aware of is that this is a tag version of the actual JavaScript SDK, SDK or the browser 2.0 SDK, whatever you want to call it. So the only thing you need to still look into is kind of the different methods that are used under the hood, right? Um, because even the tag allows you to configure quite a bit, which is good because you're a lot of control. But so here I'm looking at the initialize. Initialize is typically the first thing that we do, but we can track events. We can set user properties. We can set user IDs, set properties, all these type of things, which basically perfectly mimics um, the SDK documentation for the browser 2.2 SDK. So that documentation will help you understand what is what. What you're still doing here somehow is the richer your data layer, the easier this will work, right? Because the data layer is some JavaScript object that is readable or understandable by GTM. So GTM understands it. If it's available, GTM will de facto read it out. And you can use these properties or these variables in order to do whatever you need to do. If I take a track event, I could say track name and like this thing works like it usually does, right? I'm going into my variables and I can pick any variable inside of my data layer and use it to populate those stacks. So if you have a data layer, this thing is going to work like a charm.